Hi, everyone. Welcome to Easy Tarot Lessons. This is Sally. I'm here with Sharon and Mandy. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. And, and I've brought our favorite card. Death. Death, 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 <laughs> lunch. Death, 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 afternoon tea. Thank you, Eddie Izzard. <laughs> Shout out to Eddie. <laughs> so death has come up. Mandy, what yeah. do you have to say about death? Well, I, I, I like the, the, I find death, death is obviously quite an easy card to interpret when it comes up. I mean, it is a very much an endings feeling. Mm -hmm. It's like, yes, this, this situation is over, final, it's gone, <laughs> it's done, it's behind you, whatever. So I, I, I like the kind of definitiveness of it. Mm -hmm. um so I don't necessarily well I don't think I ever see it as physical death because um I don't do medical kind of you know physical right. readings so it doesn't frighten me I mean it might come up as a physical death if it was relevant to something happened in someone's past do mm -hmm. you know what I mean if, yes but um Generally speaking for me, when death comes up, it's more the end of a sort of situation, that sort of thing. Um, I, don't, I don't mind this card at all. I, I think sometimes it's, it can be very welcome that something is sort of finally over, done and dusted, you know, mm -hmm. laid to rest. Mm -hmm. That's just sometimes what, what you want, isn't it, with certain situations? Right. So I, I think this can be very strong in the right context. I've got to be honest, though, this is a card that I tend to sort of jump to the conclusion of, 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 of it being, because it is such a bold statement, like this is over, this is done with. I don't often refer to anything else that's in the card, if that makes sense. I'm sure mm -hmm. there's... A lot of other things going on in this card that have got nothing to do with something being finished over, done with. You, you, do you know what I mean? That I've mm -hmm. got some, like, you know, like that, the girl in the bottom that's kind of like can't face it. She's kind of like, she, she's like looking the other way. She doesn't want to face it. Mm -hmm. That actually could be what you're meant to say in this reading. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, that yeah. sort of thing. And I just tend to sort of skim over. Um, quite a lot of the other stuff. What, what about you, Sharon? Well, and this is odd, but um, Christmas Eve last year, we had a group, and everybody wanted to go, even though it was Christmas Eve, so we did something fun. We did um, Christmas carols. <laughs> 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 and um, John got the death card for his Christmas carol, and we were all like, oh, okay, this would be interesting. There ain't no Christmas carol ever going to fit this. And he thought about it for, oh, at least three minutes. And then he said, aha, I got it. And he started singing, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. <laughs> 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 that little girl in the corner going, ooh. <laughs> and the mother going, oh, man, busted. <laughs> Oh my god. They're like the death of Santa Claus or the you know. mm -hmm. Oh my god. Like, it was so brilliant. It cracked me up so hard and I had to throw that in because even with silly games like that, you know, we were doing Christmas carols and he was able to come up with something and I thought it was just beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um I love this card. There's so much going on there. You know, I never for years I used the Morgan Greer that was a close-up deck. Didn't even right. know there was a dead king under the horse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, no. that's what I mean. No clue. <laughs> I and, don't look at any of that, yeah. And, and a lot of times I see this, you know, I do, yeah, definitely endings. But this is also something that's unavoidable. You know, no matter how hard you uh, try to get away from it, yeah. you're not going to get away from it. This is something that... You've well, either yeah. created and, and there's no uncreating it now or something that's just inevitable. Which, yes. you know, I like the idea of free will. I totally believe in the idea of free will, but some things you just can't avoid. Death, mm -hmm. taxes, 
Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, a major breakup. There are certain things that, that it's just. Yeah, you, you see the other king, the king that is alive, mm-hmm. he looks like he's quite grateful to death, like that that the other king has died. Yeah, he looks like the Pope to me. Me too, <laughs> me too. Oh yeah, whatever he is, but he kind of almost looks like he's thanking death. Mm. Just oh, the way. Oh, he- see, I'd always seen him as him begging. No, no, no. Yes, yeah, same. And and oh. in the deck I'm staring at, there's like these red streaks, so it looks like he's crying uh, to oh. me. Mm-hmm. But but I can see where he could look at as thanking death too, and that would yep. be where intuition comes in. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And there's a little boat under the horse's belly. Yes. And because it's the death card, I wonder if if that's Sharon's boat. Yeah. The river Styx, where you have to pay the two two coppers to get to the other side. Right. Right. And and those two towers in the background will be prominent in a card we talk about later. Yes. But I I I see those those two scenes connected, um, and. I, I try to see how those two things go together sometimes. What what's going on in light of that other card we'll talk about later. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And and not to be a total downer, but this card has come up as death, and not even in a medical reading. It was uh, this kind of a sad story. So y'all tell me if I need to t- take it out or not. But. Um, young lady in Scotland was doing a fundraiser for her college marketing and they chose a little girl with um, leukemia oh. to, to do the fundraising for. They wanted to get her to America so that she could um, get the proper health treatment that she could get. And we, we talked to St. Jude's and St. Jude's was ready to receive her and the question was about the fundraiser. And this mm-hmm. was in group. And the final outcome card was death. And it was so horrendous that none of us acknowledged mm-hmm. that, that the, the marketing program would not go through. Well, three days later, the little girl died. It was devastating oh, no. for everybody. And so they could no longer do the marketing campaign, but all of us refused. We, we saw it, but we refused to see it. So yeah. We, yeah. we tried to turn it into, you know, transformation. She's going to blah, blah, oh. blah, you know, put a, put a happy, perfect spin on it. And it just, yes, yeah. yes, yes. It, sometimes it actually means death. Yes. The problem yes. is, with the bias we have in our head and the and the railing against it, yeah, we sometimes refuse to see it that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So it was it was rough. Yeah. Yeah. And on oh, that that's... note, no, right? We'll so... change that. Yeah. So you've got the whole skull and crossbones thing going around the 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 whatever harness thing on the horse who has the flame death eating. <laughs> You know? yeah. And I've seen this card as like a corporate takeover, piracy. Yeah. I mean, all of those things have come with this card. Uh, and, and just like Mandy said, you know, transformation, whatever, whatever um, reading about, you know, is, is this situation going to end? Yep. <laughs> it's, it's, you have reached... You've reached the end of the line. It's now time for something else, whatever that something else may be. Did yeah. and, and Sharon, I know you you brought up the rose. Did you uh, find anything in your your readings about the rose that you wanted to share? No, it's, um, there was something about it being the rose of innocence, and that once you you know move on to the next level, you you start out. You let go of all the bullshit and the mm-hmm. the corruption and go on to innocence, but I don't. I've never seen it that way. I've never read it that way. Hopefully, mm-hmm. that will bring some enlightenment to some people. But for right now, I'm just gonna put it in a pocket and mull over it. Right. Yeah, Which is what all of this is, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. There is there is one other aspect to this. Now I'm sort of really sitting and looking at it. 
it's just although the card is called death and yes you've got the grim reaper there and or whatever mm-hmm. you've got you've got all the symbolism of death and you've got the dead king life still goes on around it like mm-hmm. the, the little girl is kind of like the little one is like oblivious to it all mm-hmm. but all the other three characters are alive and kicking like with their different emotions the ship is still sailing mm-hmm. the, the sun the is still setting or rising right it does and it's kind of like although some aspect of something has died and is finished and is over everything else just does carry on yes Yes, I always thought the child was like, "Oh, what a pretty horse!" Pony. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, what about reversed? Ah, well, I, I just, yeah, I feel a little bit like, um, you, this is not quite over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's a bit more life left in this, or, or resuscitation. That you yeah. know, you, you might have thought this was over, but this can actually be kind of. Um, this can recover. Yeah. I think of it as limbo. limbo. You know, there you are, you're stuck. Yeah, stagnation. I, I get it as stagnation. I actually get trapped in that. But mm-hmm. I do like that resuscitation. But just nothing's going anywhere. And you have to just... <sighs> getting stuck in a rut. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's time to spice things up. Yeah. Is there, is there any, um, you know, I'm just thinking other than that, in reverse, I mean, maybe the reverse is to do with that that little girl, not the little tiny girl, but the other girl that's looking mm-hmm. away. It's maybe she's finally sort of facing up to things. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I see that. And that's such an important meaning to have for a tarot card because – How many of your clients are are coming in that really aren't facing up to their culpability Mm -hmm. or responsibility in a situation? Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, and when they can finally realize, wow, um, it's not always, but there are often times where where the client or ourselves have some responsibility for an action and we just don't face it. And then our eyes are open. It's like, okay, now that I know that, maybe there's some chance to salvage this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's like coming to terms with something, isn't it? Like there's that as well. Yeah. And you brought up something about the rose and the innocence and in reversal. What is, what about, you know, carrying Ooh, yeah. that karmic baggage with you you know you, you 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 can't move on or you do move move on but you're still carrying all this baggage with you and all this you know that the hatred or the dreck or whatever it is that yeah. it, that came from Ooh. from the previous existence and and you're carrying that into the next situation which you know may contaminate it oh it certainly would yeah, because you lose that innocence. You lose the ability to trust other people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So tell me something, right? If you, if you were, like, literally just doing a yes or no, right, and this card came up, it is such a dramatic card, you know, just generally speaking, would you see that as a no? It really depends on the question. I echo exactly what you said. Absolutely. Yeah. But it is kind of like one of the kind of um, the big. Yeah, it's not wishy-washy. No, it is the big energies of the tarot. Mm -hmm. That is Mm -hmm. a bold bold statement, um, even in the upright position. Yeah, it is a bold statement. And, and. I, depending on the question, like if I were, yeah. you know, if I came and asked you, or, or am I going <laughs> to get fired, Sharon? Yeah. Am I gonna fire? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're getting fired. <laughs> yeah. Am I getting this job? Uh, I don't see no. <laughs> <Yeah>. Exactly. <laughs> but I, but I, I I must admit I did once agree to do a reading for someone who wanted to know if someone was going to die. Mm. And it, uh, normally I would say no to this. Um, 
and I, I so I I did actually say no. I might I might have mentioned this before on the podcast. Mm-hmm. I, I did basically her mother was looking after her mother. So like I the mm-hmm. girl in another country where there was no social services or anything, and the grandmother was in her nineties and had a sister. And, and this girl's mother was looking after both of them with no help from anybody. Mm-hmm. In, and, and, she, and she was asking, saying, you know, when are they going to die so my mum gets her life back, oh, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, she said, will you answer? And I said, look, I'm, I'm not prepared to say when are they, when are they going to die. I said, but I will ask how much, how much longer is this situation going to go on for you know I just thought that because something else might happen like someone mm-hmm. miraculously might come onto the scene that takes over from her mum or something you, do you know what I mean right. so yes. I found it but anyway I did wonder whether the death card was going to come up and it didn't come up so um, I can't remember what did come up but I just went I, there's no sign I thought there is a card here in the tarot that would be very clear mm-hmm. if, if they were going to die anytime soon. I thought, even right. though I hadn't actually directly asked that question, this was an opportunity for the death card to kind of, you know, reveal itself. And right. it, didn't, it didn't show. And she actually did come back. It must have been about a year later. And she said, do you remember me? I went, yes. <laughs> 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 I do, funnily enough. I said, what's happened? She went, nothing. They're both still alive. So it was there right that the card didn't come up. Because had it, had it come up, even though I wasn't exactly asking, is anyone going to die? I would have just jumped to that, you mm-hmm. know, conclusion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it did not show and they didn't die. Well, this is one this heavy is card. It, it is. Heavy. It is heavy. And it, it scares the bejesus out of people when it comes up. Yes, well, and they so they want to know immediately. Yeah, in the media, yeah. in the media, it's just, you yes. know, ooky spooky tarot readers. Mm-hmm. I uh, had someone recently say that they were doing tarot readings at a, an entertainment establishment, and they were required to take out certain cards because they. they I was just going to say that. Of, of, I was just going to say, readers. I wonder if people do that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, this was one of the cards they had to take oh, out. They had well, to take out this, the devil, uh, devil which is yeah. coming up. I don't remember if the tower was the next one, but there were three cards. I know death, devil, yeah. and I cannot remember what the last one is. Right. Death, uh, devil, lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Afternoon tea. <laughs> it never entered my head to take out any card. I, would, I couldn't. I I, I would like feel either. hobbled. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it's not yeah. just a negative. You know, I, I, I've got this really twisted, warped sense of humor, and I've never actually done it, but the thought has crossed my mind. I'm dying ha, to, <laughs> <laughs> to get this card and say, you will meet a tall, dark stranger. <laughs> but, you know, even if you take out these cards because they they are inflammatory in some way, there are other cards that will take their spot. I mean, the message will still come through. You cannot avoid the news by removing the card. Truth. Yeah. Truth. But I would still feel so horribly <laughs> hot. It was like, you know, I would too. I count my cards constantly. <laughs> I was just going to say that. I'm always counting them and, and making sure they're all there. Because, well, I got a deck recently where the Two of Swords was missing from a brand new oh. deck. Beautiful, beautiful oh, deck that I could have read with, but I, I just like I put it on the shelf. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, I'd be saying, where's my two of swords? I did. They never answered me. Oh, rough. Well, I, I thought I'd lost my justice, but it turned <laughs> up. Yeah. It, yeah. It turned up several, uh, about a month later. It was, yeah, when I was cleaning behind my sofa. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, one of the ladies in my one of my groups said um, she lost her star card, and of course, we all said she lost her hope. <laughs> she found it. It's all good. <laughs> After she replaced it, but you still... can't you can't read knowing that you've got a card missing. No, you can't. 
you can't you you just it just doesn't feel right right it would be like having a typewriter without having one of the letters there or something correct yes i agree yeah so you all you people taking them out of your decks you you do what works for you but the message will still come through (laughs) well if you're being forced to take them out for entertainment yeah that just reinforces the hoopla it's a bad card there are no bad (laughs) yeah they're neutral they are just neutral. Don't shoot the messenger. They encompass all parts of life. And, and mm-hmm. let's face it, death is part of life. It's part of a cycle. Integral. Yes. It's, it's right in there. It's the thing you can't avoid, right? Yeah, unless you're an islander. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, anything else for this card? I know we've already gone quite a while on death, and you can. There's a whole lot going on in this card. Yeah, there's much more to it. But do you know what you might even say? Well, I just think this, I I think the situation is completely black and white. Well, with the colors, sure. Yeah. I said it. Oh. Yeah, I I can see that. Yeah. You might just see the black and white. It's kind of, you know, like when you say that about something, that figure of speech, it's just. Mm -hmm. It's obvious. It's black and yeah. white. Mm-hmm. No, it makes sense to me, Mandy. Me too. It just took me a second. Right? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe more like five. But <laughs> <laughs> Well, anything else you guys want to add? Uh, I just, uh, one thing, if we were to talk about everything we see in these cards, <laughs> these podcasts would be hours and hours long, and y'all would just shoot us. They would us. shoot us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is fitting for the death Yeah, card. right. But, right. but definitely take the time to explore them on your own. And if you see something we didn't see, don't think, oh, I'm wrong because they didn't see that. That's the beauty of the tarot is that it is open to interpretation mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah if you have any comments anything you want to add feel free to add them in the comments section we love reading them and you know you'll add add to our own little personal tarot vocabulary yeah well guys thank you Thank you. Nice having you here. Nice talking with you. And uh, we'll look forward to talking to you all again soon. Wonderful. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.